Hey guys, so welcome to my review here of the LG Optimus G smartphone, <clears throat> which uh, we can uh, check out the price here uh, in the Price Buy app. So we can see the price here of the LG Optimus G is right now around 300 to 500 pounds. Uh, if you want to pick up this device, this is a device that has a lot of similarities uh, to the Nexus 4 because that's of course is also a Nexus smart or a, a LG smartphone. Uh, so if you sort of take a look at the design here, first you don't have any hardware keys, you have three keys here at the bottom of the phone, you have a 4.7 inch display, a super true a, a, a super true IPS display, a, or I mean a true HD. HD IPS Plus display. Uh, it weighs 145 grams, so it has that kind of nice weight to it compared to other phones like the 4X HD that had that more of a plastic uh, feeling. You have more rounded off sides. Uh, it's very, very easy to reach uh, the buttons on the sides, like the power button on the right side here, and also uh, the volume up and down keys here on the left side. Now, if you take a look at the top on this smartphone, we can see the headphone jack being located on the left side. And then also at the bottom of the phone, we can see uh, the USB uh, input there. Uh, so, <clears throat> very, very nice exclusive feeling here. You have a 30 megapixel camera on the back, no removable uh, back, so you can't remove the battery or the SD card. So it works the same as on the Nexus 4 and shares a ton of similarities to the Nexus 4 smartphone and I might be able to pick up the Nexus 4 here pretty soon uh, so I can do a real cool comparison here between the Optimus G. Uh, I think actually it's it's pretty, uh, it comes in a pretty nice price range uh, right now because it feels more exclusive uh, to hold than a Samsung Galaxy S3, uh, you know, no plastic feeling whatsoever. It, it comes with a quad core processor and the same GPU as you would get inside of the uh, Nexus 4 as well, the Adreno 320 GPU that runs Gameloft games, amazing. So of course, that is very, very nice. Uh, as I said, 4.7 inch screen uh, with a 720p resolution. As I know 1080p here, but as we've been seeing with a lot of phones uh, that is out on the market, there's really not that of a big deal uh, comp uh, comparing a 1080p display versus a 720p display. Sure, you get maybe 100 more pixels per inch, uh, but usually when you are in a reading mode, you won't really notice that of a big difference. Uh, what's so cool about this device is that first it has a better uh, screen uh, than the Forex HD from last year. And uh, <clears throat> that it's also is a 4G variant that I'm holding right now. So you get really, really good speeds here. Uh, so if you continue on on the specs, so you also get the latest version of Android 4.1 Jelly Bean uh, with, of course, LG's own skinned UI here. So if you go to about the phone here, uh, go to software information, you can see that it's having Android 4.1.2 Jelly Bean. And Jelly Bean, of course, is also an update that is going to come to the 4X HD. Uh, but we'll see about that also. Uh, also, it comes with, a, it's a 32 gigabyte variant actually. That's, it's not that normal uh, that we'll see that, that the phones do come out, uh, you know, just in 32 gigabyte variant, but this one doesn't have a removable battery. Uh, so it's a little bit different compared to the Nexus 4. I think the Nexus 4 not, is not even well in a 32 gigabyte variant, but this one is a well ball in a 32 gigabyte variant to go out and purchase and also comes with two gigabytes of ram that you can you know hold in the home button there and you can get a quick access to the task manager and you can see all of my open up uh, applications at the moment you can see the storage here around 25 gigabyte that's what you can see and uh, you don't have any problem whatsoever. It's extremely smooth UI and everything with the quad core 1.5 gigahertz uh, processor that is a great one. It uh, also comes with the QOCOM chipset, the APQ8064, uh, like uh, which also provides a very, very nice experience here. Also, the battery, uh, nothing to be extremely impressed by. Uh, I mean, the screen is a little bit smaller than what you would get on the Galaxy S3. Uh, so you get the same amount of milliamps, 2100 milliamps, still a good battery though. Uh, and of course, uh, compared to the Galaxy S3, this one has a better GPU 
and it also has a better uh, processor so depending on where you live of course uh, you will have to pay uh, you know different prices of course uh, so if we now check out the browser of course you can easily uh, go and install uh, your own browser uh, like the Google Chrome browser a lot of people like that or you can use the built-in browser here and uh, I can say that it's extremely smooth when you go up and down uh, also go in and out it's, it's extremely smooth and a true HD IPS plus display makes why it looks a little bit better than only the true HD uh, IPS display that uh, uh, LG did use on the F Optimus 4X HD so very very good performance here loading pages and everything just because it, it is also a 4G smartphone of course now I'm connected to my own Wi-Fi network at home but if we just turn that off you can see up here that it changes the logo up there to a 4G logo and we can just um, uh, load up the internet here and it's super quick it loads everything super fast and white really looks white white really looks awesome on this this display and um, I'm really not sure uh, the Nexus 4 of course uh, in my region at least it isn't available in uh, in a 4G variant so that's also one of the reasons why I would want to pick up an Optimus G over a Nexus 4 of course uh, when we take a look at the camera the, the camera they're saying it's a 30 megapixel camera but I don't really see uh, uh, you know amazing quality it looks kind of like the normal 8 megapixel cameras out there on the market if you ask me and of course you get LG's own uh, custom it takes a little bit load here it's time to load no uh, so I mean like I don't even I don't think that they, it's, a, it's amazing 30 megapixel camera uh, but sure it works that's an HDR video mode as well or camera mode so you can take some more beautiful pictures HDR mode has been a while before some time though but you can also use your voice to take pictures and stuff uh, but that, that's of course something that you can use with other or many other LG smartphones as well uh, so if you also fire up some gaming here uh, of course I've already tried out the Optimus G a lot for gaming and it has a 320 GPU so uh, all of the game of games runs amazing on this device so you can see here a quick little gaming look and it also feels extremely comfortable to hold in your hand one thing though that uh, I've seen with more newer smartphones is that they've been having the speaker on the front side and of course that is like better uh, when you have the device on the table and if you're playing music and stuff it could be kind of nice I also heard that the camera on the back uh, you might scratch the camera surface uh, or you know the camera lens so you might want to you know look up a case for the Optimus G if you are interested in this smartphone uh, so of course the Optimus G has been available in some regions for around six months right now uh, but where I live uh, it's only been available uh, for around one or two months and it's a good phone I mean I can see a lot of people picking this one up that want to have like a Galaxy S3 but you know more like a premium quality smartphone uh, with a better processor, embedded GPU and also a 4G variant now of course there are Galaxy S3 4G variants in my country also right now a black Galaxy S3 4G that I'm using as my main smartphone uh, but I really see a lot of good things with LG and I, I see it also that they have been uh, increasing their sales for this year uh, so of course that's very nice with some awesome competition again so gaming over there is very 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 nice uh, if we take a look at also some reading of course you won't have any problems whatsoever with reading because it is a 720p display it do look amazing when you look at the text and it, white looks very good on the true HD IPS plus display uh, so if you also take a look at some quick benchmark scores um, uh, I, I did run a benchmark score earlier uh, the 3d mark score here and I did get a score of 7588 and that's at least twice the score of the Optimus 4x HD uh, and the Optimus 4x HD is of course having the same is based on the quarter 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 a 9 same as on the Galaxy same as the Galaxy S3 so uh, this Optimus G phone really do crush the Galaxy S3 and you know it has 
uh, an amazing kind of build quality, it really feels robust. It has a very, very nice weight to it uh, compared to earlier LG smartphones uh, like their Prada series or you know, it's the Forex HD uh, that it's so easier to reach the buttons on the sides and everything. I really do love this phone. It's actually one of my favorite phones at the moment and I can't wait to try it out against like new smartphones and stuff. Uh, but yeah, until next time, just have an awesome day. And if you want to see any specific videos, please let me know about that in the description or in the comment section down below. And I will see what I can do. So yeah, have a good day.